Hi guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're gonna answer an important question. Which is better for your network? A managed switch or an unmanaged switch? You'll find out next on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, on today's video, we're gonna answer an important question. Which switch should you have in your network? A managed switch or an unmanaged switch? And is it possible to have both types of switches in your network? Well, before we answer both of those questions, we'll need to answer this question first. What are the differences between a managed switch and an unmanaged switch? When designing your home network, a network switch is effectively the brain of your network. These switches connect all devices together on a LAN local area network. And these switches are constantly redirecting and forwarding data to the correct destination. Network switches come in various sizes, and these switches can have up to 48 ports. So what is the actual difference between a managed switch and an unmanaged switch? In the most simplest of terms, an unmanaged switch allows you to immediately plug and play devices into your network, while a managed switch allows for much greater control. An unmanaged switch is simple. You connect all your Ethernet devices to it with no configurations. An unmanaged switch is perfect for the person who values convenience over security. On the other hand, a managed switch allows you to manage, configure, and monitor the settings of your LAN, including controls over LAN traffic, prioritizing certain channels, and create new virtual LANs to keep smaller groups of devices segregated and to better manage their traffic. And a managed switch also has features that can recover data in the event of a device or network failure. And an unmanaged switch has none of those features. As far as performance and security, a managed switch surpasses an unmanaged switch. However, an unmanaged switch is easier to use and costs far less than a managed switch. So back to our original questions, which switch should you have in your network? Well, this answer could be a bit complicated, but I'll keep it simple. For a basic home network with five to eight users, an unmanaged switch should work well. However, if one or multiple users work from home and are working with sensitive information, which may require more security, you may wanna use a managed switch, which provides better security benefits. And if you're interested in learning how to program managed switches, like Cisco switches, I'll have a link right here to my playlist, Packet Tracer Labs. These labs will show exactly how to program Cisco switches and routers. So the last question we need to answer, can you have both types of switches in your network? And the simple answer is yes. As a matter of fact, in my network, I have both. I have a Ruckus ICX managed switch and several TP-Link and Netgear unmanaged switches. So guys, for the average home consumer, a basic unmanaged switch should work fine. Installing a managed switch and programming it can be very complicated, and it may require professional assistance. And this video is not about programming a managed switch. I already have dozens of videos on that subject. And if you wanna learn how to program a managed switch, then be sure to check out my Packet Tracer Labs. I have everything there to show you how to program a Cisco switch. Well guys, we're all done here. And I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month can help keep this channel going. And remember, for every new Patreon member, I give a personal shout out on the very next video. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.